What would you most like people to understand about autism? Autism is not a death sentence. <laughs> it's not an absolute... If you get a diagnosis, you get identified as autistic, or your kid does, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. It's it's a different way of being human, and that's okay. Some of us exist quite happily. Yeah, I'm quite happy existing as my particular form of human. My my brain is weird, but it's a fun place to be sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> What aspects of your autism make your life more difficult? Uh, the social anxiety, sensory stuff, um, the fact that people, because I work, I'm double empathy. My way of communicating doesn't work with other, with the majority, so I things get get things things get misconstrued. Or misunderstood, and it's caused a lot of emotional and occasionally physical problems um, when I misunderstand something and end up injuring myself. Um, but a lot of it is the social stuff because I I have interests and I would like to talk about those interests. But finding people that are also happy to talk about those interests is really hard. Um, and I can't do the small talk that everybody else seems to do fine. And that caused me problems at school. It's not knowing that I was autistic was what caused the most issues. Um, and not knowing that I was struggling with sensory problems um, and uh, yeah if you can control your own environment it's great but like the sensory stuff because most of the time you can't control your environment I can't control how many people are going to be outside or in a shop or whether they're going to play music or not or or whether someone's going to drive down the street with their music up really loud and a really bad engine on their car. Or whether my neighbours are going to decide to have a, suddenly have a fight at three o'clock in the afternoon. or You know, random things. Um, and that's really because it's quite often that that I mostly struggle with and most often has caused me issues in the past. It's, yeah, that, that's the hardest thing about being autistic is the not being, basically it comes down to the world isn't built for people whose brains work differently. Mm. So I can't control it. it. It's noisy outside. I've got no choice in that. I struggle with the, the way employment is set up generally for the majority of businesses. The, the things that seem, some of the stuff would be really helpful for lots of people, but it just seems like we're being awkward. Um, like what? Like the type of lights that's, that are used in factories, they, they're often fluorescent and they buzz and make a racket and I can hear them and it's really distracting when I'm trying to, when I was trying to work. And the, clo the like uniforms, uniforms are always made out of material that's really uncomfortable, but you're not allowed to wear your own that could, you know, help. And people that aren't direct enough, they give you instructions, and then when you do what they say, they say, no, that's not what I meant. 
Well, that's what you said. And that causes, like, you, disciplinary issues, shall we say. <laughs> because you're supposed to read their minds, apparently. Um, instead of just being precise and accurate and directing what people need, you get waffle or, like, filler. That's just, I, yeah. And I was never any good at social stuff. Because there's, there's, it's not compulsory, but it is compulsory. Sort of social things. And I really struggled with the, that. Um, because I just, I didn't want to do it. Or, you know, if I spent all day with them, I don't want to go socialise with them. <laughs> Um, do you consider autism a disability? Yes and no. Yes, it can be. Um, in circumstance, certain circumstances, uh, there are things that for me are disabling whatever I do. Like I could be anywhere and my anxiety is incredibly, incredibly um disabling I can't leave the house um because I'm scared to leave the house and I'm scared to leave the house alone with 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 no one to guard it even like taking the dogs out is fraught with terror because there's no one to guard my house um but other things are situational like sunlight sunlight hurts uh, noises hurt. Crowded places are scary. Um, the I think the the communication stuff is can be disabling um, if people aren't prepared to accept that sometimes people communicate differently, and if they don't understand something, they. They should just ask. Um, when people aren't don't do that, that miscommunication or the the mismatch of my communication and their communication, the double empathy problem, uh, means that I I don't understand them. They don't understand me, and we've got to work to it. But the onus is on us. It always seems to be on us to do the work, whereas everybody else gets away with not doing it, and then we get blamed. And that, like, social aspects of it are very can be very disabling. Um, and also there's a tendency to pe people to infantilise, which in and of its... I think that it, treating people like children when they are clearly adults, is disabling them mm -hmm. because you're taking away their ability to uh, taking away their autonomy by acting as though, well, a person with, disability, with this particular disability can't possibly know what's best for them. Um, but there are other things. So if I'm on my own, or I'm in an environment I control, I'm fine. I don't feel disabled at all. It's not like I need someone, I mean, I probably do with someone to come in and do my cleaning. But so long as I have my charts and my lists and my sisters occasionally remind me, I can manage. But for other people, that's not possible. Mm. And I, I think you have to, it's, Asking whether something is a disability definitely depends on the individual. Yeah. Because other than being autistic and having mental health problems as a result of being autistic and not diagnosed until I was 34 um, and trying to be normal, which I don't recommend, it's not fun. Masking is painful. <laughs> um, I don't have like any, I don't have don't have any physical disabilities. I have some damage from a, a work accident years ago, but it's nothing 
which occasionally gives me issues. But like, I don't, I don't have, I don't have Ellis Danlos syndrome, for instance. So I'm not bendy. My joints don't randomly pop out, for for instance. So I'm I'm fine with that. I don't have many of the gastric issues that a lot of disabled, a lot of autistic people have. There are some things I can't eat. Um, there are things that I won't eat because of the texture. Um, so if you're away somewhere, getting food can be a bit of a bit dodgy because like you've got a. Um, You've got to make sure you can eat it, which is, I suspect is why there's a lot of autistic people with like eating disorders because food's just weird. Um, but I, I, I got off quite easy <laughs> compared to a lot of people. Um, I, I'm well aware of the fact that I, I did not like. I didn't. I didn't get a lot of the other weird stuff that comes along with it. I managed to avoid uh, just the genetics. My, my genetics just didn't, you know, didn't throw up that stuff. I mean, other people in my family, I've got hypermobility. Other people have got the gastric issues, and I, I managed to like. There's odd things that will trigger my stomach, but other than that, I'm I'm fine. Like so, from it's so I it's like yes, it is a disability, and sometimes no, it's not. Like it's it's too complicated to say one or the other. For some, I'm sure there are some people that will not consider it a disability because they're fine. It's just the way they are, which I guess in certain respects. Being autistic is just the way I am. It's like, this is my brain. If it was any other way, I would not be me. So that's not a disability, disabled, a disability, but trying to navigate the world while autistic and living in a world that does not respect or like autistic people is disabling. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. So what are the positive aspects of your autism? Would you like to see the book collection? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I consider my book collection, my, my, my book collecting and my book collection to be one of the major positive aspects. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's possible that without being autistic, I would have collected books anyway because it's a family thing. But I don't know that I would have got the same amount of joy, pure joy when a new book arrives and I can appreciate, like, the cover, the design, the, the texture of the pages, the weight. It's a full sensory, like, thing it is this whole uh it it's like an all encompassing thing and i can i pick up and can collect information like most people i don't know what do people what do people have in the house that people collect friends on facebook i collect information <laughs> yeah but you're also creative aren't you Oh, yes, I think so. Uh, I try to be. I, I love the creativity of, like, because you I don't I think you have to be a little bit, you have to be able to see things from different angles. Creativity, I don't think you need to be autistic to be creative. I don't think you need to be autistic to be a great scientist. But I think it bloody helps. <laughs> because you see things because we see things from a completely different angle and like I think that is one of the like being able to look at something and go turn it upside you know when, when you get those like tests 
see whether your spatial awareness is all right and you can turn things off die down like that being able to it's those are really easy because you're just turning them from a different angle and i don't understand why it's a test um but i think being able to yeah one yeah it helps you see things differently and it helps you see the connections yeah at least for me it's like if i'm reading about something I'll go, oh, that connects with that, which connects with that. And you can see this, like, there's this mental web of how everything's connected. Mm. And they claim we only see the small things and we don't see the bigger picture. Excuse me, we may be focusing on something small, but we know how it's connected to the bigger picture. And it's that being able to, like, yes, I'm focused on that, but a, a few weeks ago I was focused on that. And I know how those two points connect and what other things connect to them. And I think that being able to see the connections is one of like one of the great things about for me at least being autistic. Uh, I don't know whether other people go get those connections but like i joke that i don't understand why other people can't see in ten, several centuries because apparently being it, like but it's it's been like you don't see this i see the surface but then i go and see what's underneath mm. each layer and I like that. That's that's like the more you the more you look, the more you find, the more you see the connections, and the more you can um, you can see where things need to change. Like, does it? Yeah, I also find it's like you're very passionate. Autistic people tend to be very passionate about the things they care about. Um, but I think a lot of people do, but there's... I mean, there are downsides to seeing those labels of things. I know a few autistic people who are conspiracy theorists, and it's very disturbing. <laughs> because they've, they, they've seen the levels and then gone off on a shock on like on a weird it's, somebody distracted them instead of letting them carry on it was very, it's very strange <laughs> um, yeah I think there are there are definite benefits if you can find a way to make it work for you for a lot of people that they they either don't find a way or the people who could help them find a way are too focused on making them not be autistic and that's never going to happen I mean the only way you can cure us is to kill us because it's you know genetics brain structure yeah you can't really get rid of it but if people if we're allowed to be ourselves and we're not traumatized, which is really hard. <laughs> Living in the world is traumatic. Um, you'd be surprised what you can do, what benefits there are. And um, people should just stop trying to stop us. 